Greetings to the body of Christ and to the entire Church of God by Faith family. As preparations are underway to celebrate the life and legacy of our Emeritus Bishop James Edward McKnight Sr., we solicit your sincere prayers, support, and the cooperation in providing a safe environment in honor of this great servant of God. The Center for Disease Control and the state of Florida have issued new guidelines and restrictions related to COVID-19. As such, Presiding Bishop James E. McKnight Jr. and the General Board or Executive Board of Church of God by Faith have designated four ways you may participate in memorializing Emeritus James E. McKnight in accordance with the guidelines of the CDC and the, the family or the McKnight family. Our goal is to provide you with up-to-date information you need to make informed decisions regarding the health and the well-being of yourself, your family members, and others. You're invited to pay tribute to this great warrior, Emeritus Bishop James E. McKnight Sr. in three ways. Number one, there will be on Thursday, June 3rd, from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., uh, Emeritus Bishop will be lying in honor, in repose, at the Ocala Temple Church of God by Faith in Ocala, Florida. This is an opportunity for a walkthrough viewing. On Friday, June 4th, there will be a second opportunity for viewing between the hours of 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. at Gainesville Church of God by Faith with a memorial service to follow from the hours of 6 to 7 p.m. This memorial service will include reflections upon the impact Emeritus Bishop had upon the local Gainesville Church of God by Faith and its community. On Saturday, June 5th, funeral services will be held at the Curtis M. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts at the University of Florida in Gainesville. That address is 3201 Hull, H-U-L-L -L Road, Gainesville, Florida, 32611. There'll be a final one hour viewing opportunity Saturday, June 5th, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 10.30. The funeral will start promptly at 11. The casket is to be closed at 10.30 and will be reopened at the start of the service for the family viewing only. There will be no exceptions. The interment and burial will be limited to family members only, ruling elders and superintendents. We will continue to observe extreme caution during these in-person celebrations. In addition to honoring the CDC guidelines, the following precautions will be exercised according to the family's wishes. Number one, be aware that there will be limited seating capacity available. The maximum occupancy allowed at the funeral venue that Saturday is 35% due to the, this COVID environment. Once these limits have been reached, attendees will be no longer permitted to enter the building and ask to view online via live stream. Masks will be required for all attendees, both vaccinated and non-vaccinated attendees. That, that means everybody must wear a mask the entire time while inside the facility. If you happen to forget a mask, one will be happily and promptly provided for you. Individuals not from the same household should maintain social distance and are respectfully asked to express their love and support to each other and the family members 
using non-contact methods. That means you can wave, that means you can gesture, uh, you can bow, uh, but you just can't touch. Uh, so in other words, avoid hugging, kissing, and shaking hands. Attendees are encouraged to frequently wash their hands and or use alcohol-based sanitizers. Some may be provided or will be provided at each facility and uh, in the designated areas, please be sure to wash your hands, sanitize your hands. Finally, in lieu of flowers, the family is asking you to please consider contributing to the Emeritus James E. McKnight Senior Scholarship Fund. Further information about how you can contribute to this fund will be forthcoming. It will be announced in the near future. Your adherence to these established protocols as we celebrate the life and legacy of Emeritus Bishop James E. McKnight Senior are appreciated. Please remember to check online frequently as more information will probably be released uh, in the coming days and hours. Thank you and may God bless you.